I get rid of all the smoke like OZM. Shawty got that real jelly up petroleum. You guys are moving here. No, I'm just kidding. I just got here. I'm at the airport still. Um, I am so lazy. I literally like, <laughs> I'm spending $200 in this taxi to get to my hotel, but it's an hour away. And I honestly, like with my bags being so heavy, mainly my duffel bag, I just don't feel like, thank you. Um, I just don't feel like, um, trying to figure out the train or the bus. I'm sure I could probably do it for a lot cheaper, but I'm just gonna pay the money because I'm lazy. So yeah, we made it. I'm so excited. The airport was like so nice. I'll show you guys out the window. We have a little bit of a drive. Okay, it literally doesn't look like anything different, but I'll show you guys when we get there. All right guys, I made it into the room finally. Um, it's been a few hours. I've been waiting. They're kind of strict here about like the times and stuff, but usually I feel like hotels are like, oh, like you're here early, you know, we'll let you know when the room's ready. And it's like ready, like mad early, but here they were like, they actually made me pay um, to come early. Anyways, it's fine. So this is the room. Um, it's incredibly small. I knew though, coming to Tokyo, like that's like a thing here. All the rooms are gonna be pretty much, like any hotel you stay at for the most part, unless you're paying like a, a lot, um, they're gonna be pretty small. They have like this massage chair here, which I think is really cool. I'm probably gonna use it later. I'm staying like in the business district of, um, it's like the finance, business, whatever district. There's like hella workers and stuff walking around. I chose this location because, um, <laughs> I don't even know if I wanna tell y'all why I chose this location. So this is the room. Very cute, very simple. Got all like the little things. And then this is the bathroom right here. Um, like I said, super, super small. Boom, the sink is so low, it's so cute. Um, this is the shower. And then the toilet is automatic, which I think is so cool. It has like a bidet, all that. Even the toilets um, in the airport have that. Oh, they have little PJs, how cute. Okay, um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and freshen up. I really need to sh take a shower. Um, I think I wanna go shopping. I literally have no room in my suitcase. So I don't know what the plan is gonna be with that, but I have to shop here. I can't miss out on Tokyo shopping. So yeah, we're gonna get ready and then we will get going and explore. Oh, also, I'm so excited because love Thailand, but y'all, oh my goodness gracious, the heat. In Thailand, you walk outside, you feel like you're in a sauna. I came here expecting it to be just as hot as it was in Thailand. No, baby, it's 70 degrees here. Like literally cool, crisp air, nice breeze on my skin. So anyways, I'm gonna start getting ready. Look at this nightgown that they, I thought it was like pajamas. It's like a fucking hospital gown. They gave me this iron and wood to use, so we're gonna use this real quick. Am I stupid? Slippers. Okay, I really need to start getting ready. All right, guys, we officially made it out. I feel like it took forever for me to get ready, but it's all good. I'm wearing this outfit. I'll show it to you guys later. Um, I have to walk to the subway to go to the area that I want to go. I thought it was within walking distance, but it's like an hour walk, so <laughs> I'm going to the subway right now. It's going to be like a 20 minute ride. This is good though, because I need to figure out the subway system, anyways.
passport on me and you need your passport to get like the tax free stuff. So, still walking around. Um, I was kind of in a mood because I was so angry. I'm so glad I finally ate. I don't even know if you guys can hear me well, but I'm probably going to Zara, honestly. Let me unhook this, okay. I've been wanting something like this, but I never end up like getting them. Like the book, like especially when I have like braids. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it's just a random idea I had. And then I have like these. Yeah, I have a portable charger with me. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna take off my other one. Right, so. Yo, we're doing an impromptu. <laughs> we're styling these on the street. <laughs> I think that'll look good. The bun is just so like janky right now. It's okay as long as we can get it. Somewhere. Yeah. Have you seen like some of these girls' hair that like have like the black hairstyles? Yeah. I'm like, damn, who doing y'all hair? I was because it, that. it's like kind of late. I like it. Yeah, it would be cool if I had more though. Yeah, like. I wouldn't have never found all this. Really? and family it is a new day i just finished getting ready my makeup looks kind of bad i don't want to talk about it i try my best okay i'm so fucking hungry i'm gonna get some breakfast i think maybe somewhere in this area i definitely thought i was gonna hang out in this area more than i <laughs> more than i am i just don't feel like i'm like dressed for the vibe of this area i don't know i feel like actually maybe i could do it i don't know i'm too nervous i feel like there's like so many like cool like young hip areas and like that's like obviously like my vibe but i want to hang out in this area so like, i can meet like some older kind of like cool you know business people but i'm like what what was the plan here girl what were you about to do but i need to find a breakfast spot because i'm starving i'm just gonna kind of see where the day takes me to be honest and then tonight um Raven, the girl that I met last night, we actually went to a bar yesterday and it's owned by this Nigerian man. She's gonna actually be DJing there tonight. So she is a set. And then um, after that, we're gonna go to this club that has like this Afrobeats party that we met some other black people that they're going to. So I'm super, super excited about that. That should be a really fun, should be a really fun time tonight. So yeah, gonna keep it pretty chill today. Just kind of walk around, um, do my own thing until I meet up with everyone tonight. I just have like this super chill outfit on. These cargos are from Jaded London. I don't really like the shoes of the outfit, but I don't really have any other option. And then this shirt that I got from one of the markets at um, in Bangkok. And then I'm just wearing this like little small bag. So yeah, I'm also thinking about taking my braids out, but I also don't know if I should or not. I feel like I'm gonna regret it if I do. Oh, they left me some towels. It was super nice of them. Okay, let's go.
Damn, I should've gotten some sashimi. I'm honestly very tempted to stay in. <laughs> and I hate that about myself. Like, I literally could stay in bed and not feel bad about it at all. But I'm also in Tokyo, and it's the weekend. I'm like, I should definitely go out. I met cool people here. Like, I need to go out and enjoy life and people. I'm just tired. I started my period, which I knew was going to happen. This explains the breakouts and the emotions. I don't think I told you guys, but earlier today, I was walking around, and I literally just almost started crying because I just was so overwhelmed. There were so many people in the street. And at one point, I couldn't find a breakfast spot, so I just ended up going to Starbucks. I was so hungry and tired, and you know how it gets. I'm watching Totoro, my neighbor Totoro right now. Um, and I ordered sushi, just ate also. I also just ate a bunch of snacks. I literally just wolfed down this whole... Um, oh my god, my skin is killing me. Like, I can't even look at myself. Um, sorry, I'm trying to be nice to myself, but it's like getting out of hand right now. Um, wolf down two packs of this so good i love these things i tried these in thailand i tried a different flavor it was like the corn flavor if you guys didn't already know there's a bunch of 7-elevens in like around well i don't know if it's in every country in asia but like in thailand and in um japan the the 7-elevens are everywhere and they're crazy they have like so many amazing snacks so i have been going to them a lot and i really like these um i also got a pack of oh where's oh the wrappers in here i also got these i don't i didn't like them too much they were kind of too they taste a little bit too artificially sweet, but it was like this like chocolate, strawberry, crunchy kind of thing. I really need some like coffee or something, I think, if I'm going to end up staying or going out at all. Because I need a shower, get ready, and the thought of doing that, <laughs> the thought of doing that, the, the thought of doing that just seems crazy to me. But I really want to see my girl... DJ, like, I'm so excited for her that she got a set for tonight. Like, she got a, she literally, like, was like, I really hope I can find a gig while I'm here in Japan. And she did it. And, of course, again, it's, like, this black-owned bar. Like, it's super, super cool. Like, I have to go. I think I'm just exhausted because, y'all, when I'm on my period, I just get so, like, I literally turn into a, f like, I'm already a hermit. But when I'm on my period, it's a different story. So, anyways, um, I need to go ahead and get up. Come here, bitch. Like a pussy nigga, and it won't work. Today you're not a trap star. Today you are a donor. Okay. Oops. This is option one. I have these like green jeans. Y'all know I love this top. You guys probably seen this top like five million times. Um. Option one. Boom. I have a green bag that I can wear with this. I like it, but it's giving daytime. I feel like this is a daytime um top. So I also have another option. Let me show you. Okay, this is option two. Ignore my hair. I'm gonna do it in a second. But um, y'all have seen me in this outfit before, I think, or at least this top. I don't know. I feel like this is like this is more functional. Well, not functional because the skirt's pretty tight, but um, it's kind of cold here. So this makes a little bit more sense. Oh my god, I would love for this to fucking stay. Like I would actually love for that to happen. I don't know. I'm not like in love with it. <laughs> huh? She just finished her set. Hello. We're drinking our last drink. Say hi. I'm from Toronto, Tokyo. Yes. Here in the five. They was trying to book me at this club called Us. Really? Could you not extend your set? I mean. No. I thought it was fucking 4.30 in the morning. Oh, you were talking about taste. I was like, okay, Sandy. <laughs> but I want to say it. I can't breathe. <laughs> like, get this time, though. <laughs> oh, 
like the tiniest table. This is like pearl ping pong. Ready? We got it. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Come, like you know how to play. Tell me, tell me, come on. No. Hi. I've been so hungover all day. I literally threw up earlier. <laughs> I feel so gross. And right now I'm just watching. I actually started this new show. It's pretty good. It's called Young, Famous, and African. It's on Netflix. I don't know why I drink so much. But anyways, kind of wasted today, but it's okay. Um, we're going to be back on our feet tomorrow. to team labs tokyo which is like a um, museum here so that should be really really fun it's kind of like raining a little bit so it'll be nice to be inside i feel so bad because my outfit is so revealing yeah, i'm already getting so many stairs so i feel like my outfit i'm like half fucking naked yeah everyone like the fuck is this but oh look at this view look at the water Hi, I'm back at the hotel. I got to Team Labs and I realized that you had to buy a ticket like a day in advance because it was sold out for today. So I'm going to make sure that I go early in the morning tomorrow because tomorrow is my last full day in Tokyo before I have to go to Kyoto. Um, so I really want to go there. It looked really, really cool. There was a lot of people there. So hopefully I can make it in tomorrow. I have kind of bad cramps right now. So I just came back to the hotel to chill for a little bit. I think I'm going to take out my braids actually because I'm just kind of getting tired of them. left my credit card there i didn't even realize um it was like a credit card that i don't use as much and the guy who i put my stuff on hold originally he's like yeah you left your card and i tried to message you on instagram but you didn't see it i was like that's crazy because if i didn't come back here i definitely would not have gotten my shit back. i definitely i definitely would not have gotten my shit back if i didn't come back and i almost didn't so thank god i did um so anyways i'm just walking around shibuya just doing some shopping i really want to go like find some like vintage stores but i think i'm gonna go to like a different area because um our friend my friend will that i met a few days ago was recommending that i go to some other areas to get like better prices and just like less picked over stuff so i think i'm gonna do that um i'm going to the kids store right now so i'm gonna pop in there and maybe just look around Are you laughing and playing? Who get from around me? You know I am the man, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, I got hoes in Japan, they call me Poppy. I beat that pussy so good and leave it throbbing. Cause I be slinging this wood, they wanna chop it. No, I can't come from the shot, they don't do no copper. You a thing, 808, the way this beat knocking. For the bus shit, when they hit, they go to bopping. She a lunch lady, cause the joke she giving sloppy stuff And they calling her real, she yeah. keep begging me to stop it hey. They waiting for my meat, take, they telling me to drop it But I gotta get my shit straight before I drop it Hey guys, I just made it back to my hotel I got super lost on the train I like literally probably took like three different trains to get here And I'm pretty sure I only need to take one But okay, it was kind of fun It was like a fun like little adventure I like multiple people helped me Which I'm really really grateful for I was getting really overstimulated for whatever reason I was supposed to meet up with Raven um, 
and I just was like, I need to go home. <laughs> I need to drink some tea and lay in bed. Um, I need to get ready for Kyoto. I'm leaving for Kyoto tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, that should be really fun. Honestly, I'm staying in Kyoto for two days and I don't have a plan for after that. Um, like I know what I'm doing like next like I'm leaving Japan next week But I don't have the rest of my Japan trip booked at all. So I need to figure that out um, at some point But yeah, I'm probably just gonna get my clothes together Make some tea Chill for the rest of the night the vintage shopping over in I can't remember the name of the area I'll put it on the screen. It was so so good. I was so happy. I just thought I ended up getting this jacket, which I love um it's like this like ombre babe jacket. I was actually gonna get the blue and green one, but they didn't have the size that I wanted it to be like a little bit oversized and they only had like a small. And I was talking to the guy, I was trying to have him help me vote because I was like, I was telling him how I have so much blue. You guys know I have so much blue and green in my closet. And he's like, maybe it's time for you to switch it up. I was like, you know what? You're right, let's switch it up. So I went with that color. Um, and then I also just got a Bape Japan shirt because I just felt like it'd be cool to buy one. Um, I didn't realize Bape is like actually from Japan. Like I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know why I always, when I think of Bape, I think of Pharrell Williams. <laughs> like I know he didn't start it, but I just like instantly think that. Anyways, um, I also went to this Hello Kitty store that I like just randomly came across in Shibuya. It was super, super cute. I got this really cute Hello Kitty headband. I think I'm going to put it on right now because my hair looks crazy and I want to take my hat off. And I just think it's the cutest thing ever. I'm so excited about it. Like, how adorable is this? And then I also got some socks. I'll show you. I'm gonna fuck this up. Oops. I probably should get scissors for this. Okay, I'll have to figure that out once again. Um, and I also got the cutest socks. I got these, like, little Hello Kitty socks. And then I also have these ones that I'm wearing. I put them on because I thought they looked really cute with my outfit. Um, and I thought this one was so cute. I don't even know what this character is, but look how cute. <laughs> so I got those. I Oh my god, I was so tempted. I don't know if you guys saw, I was so tempted to buy. Um, they had like these Pokemon backpacks. Loki, I may go back and buy it when I, if I, because I'm going to have to come back to Tokyo to fly out of Japan in a few days. So I think I might buy a Pokemon backpack, which is so corny. Or like not corny, it's like a little bit nerdy, but I think it's so cute. Like I think I could like make it look cute if I like do it right. So anyways, um... I also ended up going, so then I went to the vintage stores. I just ended up getting this one t-shirt that says Bush Gardens on it, which is actually a, an amusement park in Virginia. It's a, I think it's also in Florida, but this is like my childhood. So I was like, I saw it. Whenever I see anything that's like, I've seen, this is like my second time finding a vintage um, like Bush Gardens t-shirt in a different city. I think the first time I found one was in Toronto So whenever I find them, I'm like I have to get it like this is like literally my fucking childhood Like that's so crazy that I'm in fucking Tokyo, Japan And I found a Bush Gardens t-shirt and it's like really cute. So got that and then I also got these Levi shorts that I ended up putting on I don't think you guys saw these but I've been looking for shorts just like this for so freaking long and i'm so happy these fit me like perfectly i also had another pair that i found they were like these guest shorts that i was obsessed with i almost just bought them but they were too big so i ended up just getting these um so i'm really proud of myself honestly i was doing really good about like not just overbuying because you know me i tend to just overbuy things and that's why my freaking suitcase and duffel bag look like that and it's overfilled and i need to figure out how i'm gonna leave stuff here because i probably can't even pack everything that i have now anyways and then i found this really really cool um store that it was like this like really really small like obscure like it, i don't even know if it was a thrift or vintage store or what because this guy had like multiple of these and it was like this like older guy running it but i found this really cute like I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a silky, you can't really tell on camera, but it's like this like silky, shiny material. I thought this top was so adorable. Like how do you even, like this is something I feel like you would find like from Zara, but like a little bit like less cool. I don't know if you can see the print. It's like these like roses or whatever. Um, super freaking cool top. And I feel like it would actually look really cute with these shorts. So I'm gonna like style this, maybe like wear it like in Kyoto or something. I just thought this was so adorable. So yeah, um, I'm feeling really good. Like I said, I'm, I think I'm pretty tired. Um, 
because I've just been going and I like again I slept really really weird so I'm just gonna relax a bit drink some tea I got some tea. the lobby has like this huge thing of teas and I don't think I told you guys this but like I don't think I want to drink anymore after I know I say like everyone's always like I'm never drinking again but honestly I don't know if I like I think it's like finally hitting me like drinking alcohol like alcohol is like I know people say this all the time and it's like okay, whatever but like alcohol is literally poison for your body and the way that I feel mentally and physically after I drink whether it be a night like Saturday where I literally like basically blacked out um or if I'm just even having like one or two drinks I just don't feel good I don't feel my best I feel tired I feel and the thing is alcohol is literally designed to make you want more and more i could talk about this like literally for hours i'm like really on this like deep thing right now of like going inward really trying to understand and dissect like where you know my just my habits in general and i think that alcohol is one of those habits or one of those things that like i've normalized so much and that society has normalized that i've overlooked as something that could be affecting not only the way i feel again emotionally mentally but also physically um, so I just want to see how I feel, um, just like not drinking for at least, honestly, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know how long I'm going to do it for, but yeah. Anyways, that all to say, I've been getting excited about teas and I've been doing more tea the past couple of days. It's only been like three days that I've like been on this kick of like no drinking, but, um, this honey lemon tea that the hotel has is really, really good. And then I just, I'm trying this like fruit one. So anyways. I'm gonna make, make myself some tea. I also found, they also had like this really cute like free origami set in the lobby. So I might do this. Maybe, maybe I'll do this like on the train to Kyoto tomorrow. I feel like this would be kind of fun. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna relax, enjoy the rest of my night um, and start getting ready for Kyoto tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna make this like a new vlog or what, but I'm just gonna say goodbye for now. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for being here for being on this journey with me. I feel like it's been, I feel like I've been traveling now for a long time. It's only been like a month, but I feel like this month of traveling has changed my brain, has literally altered my brain chemistry so much. Like even in, this, in the amount of time that I've been doing it and it's just been so fun to bring you guys along with me. And yeah, I just posted my vlog yesterday and I was reading so many comments from you guys and just feeling the love and the support that you guys give me. And it's just insane that like this gets to be my life and that I get to experience this with you guys. I just feel so incredibly grateful and blessed. And yeah, I wouldn't be able to be living this life without you guys. So I just want to say that and say that I love you and I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having an amazing week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, I get rid of all the smoke like OZM. Shawty got that real jelly up petroleum.